The order I'm about to sign does two things. First, it orders a 100-day review of four vital products, semiconductors, one, key minerals and materials like rare earths that are used to make everything from harder steel to airplanes, three, pharmaceuticals and their ingredients, four, advanced batteries like the ones used in electric vehicles. There's strong bipartisan support for fast reviews of these four areas because they're essential to protecting and strengthening American competitiveness. Second, this order initiates a long-term review of the industry basis of six sectors of our overall economy over the next year. These reviews will identify policy recommendations to 40 of our supply chain, to, excuse me, to fortify our supply chains at every step, and critically to start implementing those recommendations right away. We're not going to wait for a review to be completed before we start closing the existing gaps. And as we implement this work, my administration will draw on a full range of American talent, including labor and industry leaders, policy experts, scientists, farmers, engineers, to get their input. I'm grateful for the members of Congress who came to see me, Republican leaders as well as Democrats. They're leading the way. We're going to stay in close contact with members of both sides of the aisle and keep advancing our shared goals. Everyone has a role to play to strengthen our supply chains and our, and our country. This is the United States of America. We are better prepared to meet the challenges of the 21st century than any country in the world. There's nothing, nothing, nothing we've ever failed to achieve if we work together. And that's what we decided to do today. And that's what we're going to do, work together. So I thank you all. I'm very optimistic about the meeting we had today with our congressional colleagues. And now I'm going to walk over and sign that executive order. Thank you all very much. Mr. President, are you disappointed that more of your cabinet nominees have not yet been confirmed by the Senate? I am, but uh, I don't so much blame it on the Senate. I blame it on the failure to have a transition that was rational. Uh, as you know, previous administrations had a significant number of their, uh, their cabinet uh, confirmed before they even were sworn in. That's the tradition. But we're doing fine. I think we're going to be in good shape. What about you, sir? Thank you. Are you going to talk to me in Saudi Arabia? I'm going to be talking to him. I have not spoken to him yet. Are you speaking today? Are you going to take the Jamal Khashoggi report yet? Am I going to take one? I'm sorry. Have you read the Jamal Khashoggi report yet from the OB? Yes, I have. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.